Hi, I'm Giovanna Ventura, and today we're gonna answer some questions that you asked me on my Instagram. It's gonna be a question and answer video while I'm on a hike. Let's go with the first question. Question one, when do you feel your truest and best? I feel my truest and best when I'm around the people that I feel safe with, that I feel comfortable, I can be myself, that make me laugh. When I'm also hiking and exercising and I'm disciplined with that, I see it in my energy, I see it in my body. I feel confident about myself when I'm taking care of myself, mentally and physically. Did your confidence rise or drop since cutting your hair? <laughs> Honestly, I would say it rised. It rised so much. Honestly, my hair was so much um, to take care of, you know, and Every time I would go out, it would take like 30 minutes or something to take care of my hair. Now I wake up, I don't, sometimes don't even brush my hair. It just feels so liberating. Also, there's this thing about hair that carries a lot of your traumas and past and things and weights that are on you, you know? And I just felt like when I cut my hair, I felt some kind of freedom, some kind of freedom from inside. Like I didn't have this weight on me that I was carrying before. And like I was leaving a chapter from the past in the past and transforming into the person that I am now, into this adulthood. <laughs> okay, I guess let's take the questions on a hike. Let's continue this hike. Ahora voy a responder una de las preguntas en español. I'm gonna respond one of the Spanish questions. ¿Por qué decidiste cortarte el pelo y qué tal te sientes con tu nuevo look? Muy linda, por cierto. Gracias. Decidí cortarme el pelo porque necesitaba un nuevo cambio en mi vida. Necesitaba hacer un nuevo cambio que me hiciera sentir fresh y nueva. Como que tenía que dejar el pasado atrás, la persona que soy en el pasado atrás, para poder transmitirme en esta nueva etapa de ser adulta, de simplemente una nueva etapa de mi vida, ¿sabes? Y también porque hace tiempo dije que en algún momento me iba a cortar el pelo y la verdad es que me lo quería cortar todavía más corto, como como Halle Berry me lo quería cortar y tal vez lo voy a hacer en algún momento, pero por ahora me voy a dar un tiempo con este look y nada, también me hace sentir muy libre, como una libertad de por dentro, como dejando esas expectativas de la persona que yo era en el pasado y lo que tenía que ser en el pasado, lo que las personas querían que yo fuera en el pasado. Y en esta nueva etapa de esta nueva Giovanna o esta update de Giovanna, no tiene que ser nueva completamente, pero sí, bueno, lo dejo ahí, ya sabes. Me siento muy bien, gracias. Ok, próxima pregunta. ¿Qué incentivo te resulta para mantenerte haciendo ejercicios y buena alimentación? Creo que el mayor incentivo es que me quiero amar a mí misma lo más posible y también quiero saber que cuando tenga mayor edad, esté mayor, tenga 60, 50, 70, todavía pueda hacer estas caminatas, hacer ejercicios y tener energía y vivir mi vida día a día sin tener problemas de salud, uh, sentirme lo mejor posible a esa edad. Y también porque me, eh, cuando me veo lo mejor que puedo y me... me Siento lo mejor que puedo energéticamente, mentalmente también me voy a sentir bien. Porque si me veo bien y sé que estoy haciendo lo más posible para, para cuidarme a mí misma, sé que pase lo que pase a mi alrededor, me voy a sentir bien por esa parte de mi vida. También me ayuda muchísimo mentalmente a tener claridad. Cuando tengo algo en que pensar, una decisión que hacer, me voy a caminar y me encanta pasar tiempo en la naturaleza, hasta en el gimnasio también, eh, corriendo en la caminata o haciendo pesas cuando quiero sentirme poderosa. Cada ejercicio me hace sentir de una forma diferente y me ayuda mentalmente en una forma diferente. Vamos. Que ya casi estamos ahí. We're almost there. 
What motivates you to strive for success? Do you ever feel hopeless about the world? Yes, definitely. We all have moments that we feel hopeless about our goals and our dreams and, you know, motivations in general. Definitely have those days. I think what keeps motivating me is not one particular thing. It's just knowing that if I fall, I can simply get up again. Like there's this saying that a friend of mine told me and it's been in my head that it's not about how long you stay up on the horse. It's about falling and being able to get back on the horse again. So life is not meant to be like this all the time or you're not supposed to feel motivated all the time and feel great about yourself all the time. It's about being able to get back on, letting yourself get some rest if you need it and getting back on and knowing that it's like, it's a day by day thing, you know? Also, something that I find motivation in is what is my goal overall? Like, do I love what I'm doing? That motivates me because I love what I'm doing. So it doesn't feel that heavy, you know? And also I want stability in my life I, overall. I want to be able to provide for my family and be able to do things for my family and take my family places and all these things. So I feel like that motivates me a lot because I want to be good for my family and good for myself. Yeah, hope that helps. Do you have any tips on how to deal with anxiety? How I personally deal with my anxiety is going on walks so that I can have more clarity in my mind. I feel like going on walks, especially in nature or in your neighborhood, if you're able to do that, gives me clarity, mental clarity. I just keep walking and listening to my thoughts. Also, another thing that helps a lot with anxiety is writing down. What is it exactly that is making me anxious? Because a lot of times we have anxiety and we don't even know what is it exactly that is making us anxious. So once we know what is causing the anxiety, we can find the solution towards that anxiety so that we can have more peace, you know, finding the solution to the anxiety. Another tip I would say is talking to a therapist if your anxiety is really persistent you know, maybe it's not just about a problem. Maybe it's something inside that um, you don't know how to deal with. So talking to a therapist is very helpful. Doing meditations, so helpful. Even 10 minutes of breathing, deep breathing in and breathing out, counting your breaths, looking on YouTube for meditations. I have a meditation in one of my videos. Um, if you wanna try that, that is super helpful. Also doing yoga is very helpful as well. Even 10 minutes of yoga takes away the tension from your body because anxiety also tenses up your body. So doing yoga takes away the tension from your body. Once you let go of that tension from your body, you can have more mental clarity. Overall, I would say the number one tip I would give that has helped me is to journal. What is it that you're feeling? In this, in this um, few steps, yoga, journaling, and then meditating on what is the solution for that problem. How can I solve this anxiety so I feel better about it? Sometimes talking to a friend, although I don't 100% recommend talking to a friend about it, I think that writing down your anxieties on a journal is so much more helpful because sometimes a friend may not really know how to deal with your situation or know what it is exactly that you're going through. So if you're writing it down, you're able to find a better solution, even if you find the solution and then you go to a trusted friend or family member. Those are my main tips.
We made it to the top of the waterfall. So pretty. Do we have another question? Yeah, so have you ever dealt with trauma? And if you have, how did you handle it? Trauma. Well, I think we've all dealt with trauma at some point of our life. Anything can pretty much leave a traumatic experience in us. It just depends on the person. But I guess it depends what type of trauma we're talking about. Reading books that are helpful on that subject, specifically how to heal your inner child, um, meditations, breath work, and therapy. Definitely therapy is super helpful, talking to someone that is a licensed therapist. And yeah, journaling, going on walks, being conscious, forgiving, and understanding that things happen. Moving on step by step and being patient and compassionate with myself and my feelings. Traumas with breakups is kind of the same steps. It's kind of the same steps. Yeah, like you have to heal inside and understand that things happen and not everything's going to work out in life, you know, but you have the good experiences from that. And there's always something to learn from every experience. I know it can be super hard. And I can't speak for whatever traumas you have gone through. I just know that there's something to learn from every experience. And we can heal step by step, being compassionate with ourselves and each other. Okay, so we're back. We're almost done with the hike. Came running all the way from the waterfall. Made it here. About a 20 minute hike. Not bad at all. So let's move on to the next question. It's in Spanish. La próxima pregunta está en español. Y dice así. ¿Alguna vez has lidiado con la comparación física con otra mujer? 100%, claro que sí. Por, por el trabajo que tengo en el medio en el que estoy, Es, es algo que siempre pasa, especialmente con el modelaje. El cuerpo siempre se compara, la cara, el pelo, todo se compara en el medio en el que estoy. En el principio era un poco más difícil porque era más joven y no había estado en ese medio antes y no había estado en esa situación de esa manera, pero no era tan difícil porque es algo que las mujeres siempre, siempre pasamos. Aunque no estemos en el medio del modelaje o, o en el medio del entretenimiento, es algo que siempre pasa con las mujeres, ¿verdad? So, creo que poco a poco, amándome a mí misma, sabiendo quién soy, sabiendo que yo soy única, no hay nadie como yo, y, y punto. Y saber que ellas son únicas, no hay nadie como ellas, y cada quien tiene su cosa que es única de ella. So, así es que creo que he lidiado con la comparación a esa otra mujer y también levantando a la otra mujer, que sí, que wow, es bella, es hermosa. Y eso no me quita a mí ningún, ningún eh, peso de ser bella y hermosa también. Todas somos bellas y hermosas en nuestra propia forma. So, creo que lo mejor es support each other. Un poquito de Spanglish, pero eh, quiero decir como amarnos una a las otras y subirnos, levantarnos una a las otras, porque las mujeres tenemos que hacer eso mucho, porque los hombres lo hacen naturalmente. Así que nosotras tenemos que poco a poco seguir levantándonos una a las otras y alabándonos una a otra. So what are you currently working on on yourself? Currently, in this current moment, I'm working on getting back on the horse, like we spoke previously, getting back to my routine, my discipline, with working out, with practicing what I have to practice, with getting back to work, because I was currently 
um, a full month out of the country traveling to different places for fashion month. So now I'm currently getting back to my stability and my schedule so that I can get back on track with eating healthy and working out again. Okay, last question. How is the music going and why did you get into it? The music is going well. It's a process and it's a process where there's a lot of patience and there's a lot of collaboration and there's a lot of going into myself, um, a lot of emotions. So I'm just going with the process. It's something that I'm passionate about. I've loved it my whole life. I've always writ written my own songs since I was little and I've always loved to sing, but I was honestly a little afraid to get into the industry, especially since at the time my modeling career kind of took off and it was stable. So I kind of just focused on that and said, I'm gonna leave the music for another time and maybe it's not meant to be. And then I came back to it and I realized I really love this and I have to work on this now. Like there's no time than the present moment. So. I decided to start working on it and it's been about three, four years now that I've been working on music, I could say like professionally, but before that I was still doing my own thing and I love it honestly. I'm so excited to show you my new music and my projects and they will be coming soon and they will be coming when it's meant to be, no rush, but definitely rush still because I'm very excited to put it out and I hope you like it because it makes me really happy. And I think that's all. Thank you for being at this question and answer. Thank you for joining me on my hike. And this is the end of the route. I'll see you on the next video.